JJ, a 3-0 start. You scored the first goal in the first period. Have you been working on that move a little bit? And did you feel the the game start snowballing when you got that first one? Yeah, we're always working on little things like that. But yeah, obviously it's always good if you can start with the lead and play with the lead in general. And yeah, I think uh, it was a good first period and uh, it's always better to go into the first uh, break with a 3 nothing lead. As Clayton, when you're up that big that early, is it hard to keep the foot on the gas and maintain when you know they're going to make a big push? Yeah, it is a little bit more challenging, but uh, I think we handled it pretty well today. And that's what it's all about, to learn how to handle that lead and just keep on going. Clayton celebrating point four hundred and four oh one today. What's it like to see him play and, and be his teammates? And, and what do you take from him when you're on the same team? Oh, it's a lot of fun watching him. I mean, he's, he's super skilled. He's super competitive. And, uh, yeah, that's a, a great recipe to, to be successful and to have him as a teammate is uh, amazing. Last one for me. When New Jersey did make a push, Corral stood tall. Does that give you a little extra boost seeing how he's playing between the pipes right now? 100%. It's huge to have a goalie in that that is there in those in those key moments and uh, keeps us alive and yeah, lets us weather that storm and yeah, keep the lead. Clayton, congrats on point four hundred and four hundred one. What what's that milestone mean to you? Yeah, um, you know it's uh, it's a cool achievement. You know a lot of people have sacrificed. You know I talked about you know the same things getting to you know 500 games, and um, you know I definitely wouldn't be here without you know, the sacrifice of you know a lot of people that uh, put a lot of time into to making me healthy. Um, you know mentally as well. So um, definitely lots to lots to be thankful for. Came in a winning effort as well. You guys jumped out to a three nothing lead. How how happy were you with the start? I know you've been looking to start games like that more consistently. Yeah, um, you know it was a quick turnaround. Obviously, you know playing Detroit had a long flight home. Um, then with the two p.m. game, um, you know it's great to you know come out there strong um, and you know get a lead and. Um, you know, we kind of let off a little bit, but I think we did, you know, a good job. Veggie was awesome tonight. Um, you know, it was a great team effort, and, um, you know, it's good to be able to close it out and uh, not let them come back. I wanted to ask you about Corral, too. Like you said, when they did have their opportunities, he continued to stand tall. Does that type of performance just inspire you guys to keep pushing at that point? Yeah, for sure. You know, um, you know, he made a lot of timely saves, you know, times where maybe they had the momentum and, um, you know, he makes a big stop and um, kind of brings us up and uh, brings us into the game, um, you know, when there's some penalties or, or things like that. So I thought, you know, he was our best player tonight for sure. Last one for me. I know there's been a focus on maintaining the lead, and you went up early, three nothing. Is it hard to keep your foot on the gas at that point and defend the lead when you're up that early? Yeah, I mean, um, it's always tough. You know, even um, you know, like you said, when you get the lead, um, you know, you know they're they're going to make a push. And same thing, you know, if we're down three goals, we're always going to make a push and and uh, and test the other team. So you know, like I said, I think you know we did a good job of uh, you know trying to keep them to the outside. And um, you know, like I said, Veggie Veggie played great. Clayton, more to that question, how do you like the way the team responded in the third period after the Devils pushed a lot there in the second? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we had, uh, you know, 20 seconds left in the kill, and I think, you know, we did a good job. There's some, you know, chances back and forth or, you know, a fast, uh, skilled team. Um, so, you know, I think we did a good job of kind of, you know, keeping to the outside and just uh, having that next shift mentality. Andre, I know there's been a focus on starts recently. Happy with today's start? Yeah, we uh I think the last last two games we had really really good start. I think we, I'm happy because we talk about uh, our game management uh, uh, before the game, saying uh, the last two times where we went on the road for a long road trip when we came back home, the first period was not as good. So we challenge our guy on that, and the answer really well. When you take a lead that big that early, you know there's going to be a push. Yeah. Uh, were you happy with the response once New Jersey started pushing? Yeah, I, I am because we we defend really hard. We. We block a lot of shots, we battle in front of our net, we eliminate the number of rebounds, um, rebound opportunity. I think the guys, they empty the tank. I think we work really hard, I think. Like, like you said, uh, when you take that kind of a lead, the other team has nothing to lose. Now they're coming out everything they got and uh, they, they took a lot of chance. If we could have buried the breakaway or on-man rush we had, that would have relieved the pressure, but we didn't, so they maintained the pressure. But uh, we had a lot of uh, opportunity as well. Another milestone for Clayton Keller, 400 career points, actually at 401 now. Just what's he mean to this team? Well, I repeat myself on Cal's nothing new. I think he's, he's, he work hard, he's, uh, he's competitive, and he's really driven. That's, he's, a, he's a good leader for our team. Last one for me. I just wanted to ask if there's any update on Nick Bugstead. 
Uh, no, he will have an MRI tomorrow. We'll know better tomorrow. Andre, Logan Cooley is playing both penalty kill and at the end of the game, and I was wondering what that shows in your trust in him defensively and what sort of strides he's made defensively. Uh, what show he earn it. That's that's what it shows in the sense of we said at training camp, so he has to earn the right to play in those situations. He has the talent, but we don't want us to give him that opportunity. We want him to earn it, and now he can be proud of himself because he earned it, and nobody gave him. He, he earned it he, in the last um, week, especially. I think he, uh, he played really good defense, and that paid him offensively. He still have his chance offensively. He's playing a ton, and uh, he's playing on both special teams right now. And what sort of impact has Dylan Gunther made on the power play since arriving to the team this year? On everything. He's He's top 50 in the league for number of play in the D zone. He's uh, he has a not best stick in our team. He kills play on the PK. Uh, he, he can shoot the puck, but he can read the the play, play well defensively, compete on every shift. Uh, it, it's really good. Is it frustrating to you that some nights you guys can just struggle, and then you have, you come out and get an, uh, an effort like you did tonight? I would love to be like you and having all the good days in my life. <laughs> and I, I would love to have the player who are already uh, always good every day. But unfortunately, we, we coach a human being. And some nights it's not as good. But I will say uh, in the last couple of weeks, even if it doesn't always translate as a victory, we, we, we did a lot of good stuff. Okay, everybody remember the two game against Chicago? I will give you that. But other than that... If you look from the day we went in Colorado when we played in Minton the next day on, look at the performance of our team, pretty proud of them. 